Well, it was a tragic end of the year for the city of Omro after a tragic car crash in Florida killed a brother and sister and left two that survived. But the close-knit community is showing just how strong they are together. NBC26's Valerie Juarez stopped by a restaurant whose doors are usually closed right now to show us what small-town support means. It's an ice cream shop you'd only see open during the summer. But the owners say they opened up Saturday afternoon to raise money for the grieving Millis family and their cousin Kylie. 17-year-old Kylie Larson was one of the two survivors from Tuesday's tragic crash in Florida. The young girl, also a former employee at The Well, a small ice cream shop just down the road from Omro. Kylie has worked for me for two years now. Um, I've known her family for many years. Family members say Kylie had several cracked ribs, fractured vertebrae, and will need to wear a brace for at least 12 weeks after release. Her father telling me over the phone she was finally able to walk. Hopefully this a step in the right direction. Just had to do something. I felt helpless being home, not be able to do anything to help the family with everything they had going on. Weber organized a fundraiser for his former employee, and the turnout was way bigger than what he was expecting. When in Connie, you in Chester, and even from Oshkosh, we have people that come in here. So, yeah, it's, it's just amazing the people we've had. The other survivor in the crash, Drake Millis, was thankfully released from the hospital Friday. It's been a hard year for us in the area with everything going on. Um, hopefully 2021 is a better year for us. In the meantime, Kylie is still gaining her strength back in the hospital. Her two six-year-old brothers say they miss her and want her to come home. I love you, Kylie. I love you, Kylie. As the survivors of the crash continue to recover, family and friends say they'll be helping them navigate through these tough times. In Winnebago County, Valerie Juarez, NBC26. All right, thank you, Valerie.